guys, it's Donna from Donna Gills Designs and in today's video I'm going to show you how I made this beach tumbler. Gearing up for summer, everything I use in today's video will be linked down in the description below. You'll also find my social media links if you want to follow me on social media for additional tips and tricks. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay guys, so I started out with a prepped and sanded cup and sprayed it down with some rubbing alcohol and wiped it with a paper towel. I went ahead and spray painted my cup and I let that dry. For me, it took about 30 minutes because it was pretty warm where I live. And then once that was dry, I went ahead and applied my adhesive, which the adhesive I'm using today is from Apothecary Glitter Glue. I put that on my single spinner here from Bama Cups. His link is down in the description below along with a discount code for you guys. And then I'm gonna start applying my glitter. So I'm gonna start at the bottom of the cup where the sand would be. And this color, all my glitters today are from the Glitter Grind. Their link is down in the description below. So for the sand color, I was using the color cashmere. It's pretty much my favorite color to use on sand for beach cups. And then I put a little tiny section on top of that of white where the waves would go. And that is diamonds. That's my favorite white glitter from them. And then we'll move, uh, move ahead with that kind of Turkish tealish kind of color. And that color is water's edge. And as you see me going in between the different colors, I'm holding my hand up about 10 or 12 inches. This way it's going ahead and blending in between those different colors. And I believe that top turquoise color there is shipwreck from PDB. I didn't have a good color there from the glitter grind, but I did want to add a different color there. So I did add that one from PDB. And then that top, top blue color, that is Tranquil C from the glitter grind as well. Now, after I get all these different colors down, I'll go back and blend some more in between those different colors if I, if I feel the need that I need to do so. Now, if you're one of the ones that kind of like to tilt your cup, you can do that too when you're applying these glitters. It just works much easier for me if I do all the blending on while the cup is on a spinner. I like to be the odd man now. What can I say, guys? <laughs> but this is what works for me, but please absolutely do what works for you. And then once we get all these glitters on here, I'm gonna let my cup dry. And then I am going to spray it down with two coats of Rust-Oleum 2X Glossy Clear, um, just so that those glitters don't move when we go to apply some epoxy. And then you'll see that I needed to add a tiny bit more glue at the very top of the cup. I should have just used the epoxy method to apply my glitters, but I didn't for some reason. Um, and I normally do when I put, you know, several different color glitters on here so it doesn't dry on me. But I put a couple coats of epoxy on this cup and sanded down any rough spots and sprayed it with them with some rubbing alcohol. And I'm gonna go ahead and put another coat of epoxy on. This way we can go ahead and do our waves. Now I am using Alumilite epoxy dye mixed in with a little bit of epoxy for my waves. And I usually just, you know, put different lines there throughout the cup. And I'll start out with my heat gun. But I always, you know, seem to like the way mine come out it might be different for you, but how mine come in, I like to use my finger. And I have a bad, bad habit of putting way too much white on, so I do wind up taking some, some off. So you'll see I'm just going through with that heat gun, and then I'm just kind of wiping some off in like kind of different, you know, directions for those waves and everything. And um, I'll just keep doing this until I'm kind of happy with it because I really don't like a lot, a lot of waves on my cups, but if you're one that likes a lot of waves, please feel free to do so. Please do what works for you. So I'm gonna keep doing this. Sometimes I'll have to go back at, in and add a little bit more white if I feel like I took too much off. I'm going to hit it with my torch to pop any bubbles, and I will go and put this on my spinners and let this cure. The epoxy I'm using in today's video is from the Flynn Sister Supply Company. Their epoxy 
has been the best epoxy I've ever worked with. I don't think I'll ever go to anything else. So definitely, um, definitely check them out. So you'll see here what I, I did, what I'm talking about, that I did wind up adding a tiny bit more waves. Um, no right or wrong to do art, guys. Please do what works for you. This is just what, what works for me. So I put a couple coats of epoxy on, and now I'm going to just checking it out to see if it needs any sanding. Mine did, so I sanded it, sprayed it with alcohol, and then put it back on with another coat of epoxy since I'm using the clear cast, uh, white cast decal. So I don't want to see the lines around it, so that's why I chose to do it that way. I'm slightly going to put um, this decal on and then just kind of move it around to see where the best placement for me is. I usually do just eyeball this. And then I'll be using the hinge method to apply this decal. So I'll pull back one side of the decal, trim you know about half inch to an inch off of that backing. I'll lay that side down, and then I will go to the other side and pull it back and remove the rest of that backing and then place the rest of that decal down. I do like to use my fingers for this, but please feel free to use a squeegee if that's what you like to use. So we're going to let this decal sit on here. I'm going to, you know, go over it with my hands a couple times, make sure that, you know, nothing, when we put the final coats of epoxy on, nothing, you know, will get underneath that decal. And then we'll have the final coats of epoxy and this one will be done. So I hope you enjoyed today's video, guys. I hope you have a fabulous, fabulous day.